my people, this is your girl Nduduzo Dandala once again. Welcome to yet another school tube episode. Today we will be covering sequences and series. We will be learning how to solve arithmetic sequences. Let the fun begin! Arithmetic sequences are given by a general term. The formula for this general term is Tn is equal to a plus n minus 1 in a bracket multiplied by d. In this formula, a is the first term, d is the constant difference, and n is the number of terms in the sequence. Let's look at an example. Let's say we are asked to find the 15th term of the sequence. If we know that the sequence is arithmetic, then we can use the general term Tn is equal to a plus n minus 1 d. Given the sequence to be 4, 10, 16 and 22, the first thing to do is to find the lowest common difference between these terms. The difference between 4 and 10 is going to be 6, the difference between 10 and 16 is also 6 and the difference between 16 and 22 is 6. Now you can't find a difference between 6, 6, 6. So 6 is our lowest common difference. Now let's work with the general term. We know that a is our first term, right? And in our sequence, a is equal to 4. d is our constant difference and we found d to be 6. So we can say that tn is equal to 4 plus n minus 1, 6. So when you simplify that, tn is equal to 4 plus 6n minus 6. Simplify that even further and tn will be equal to 6n minus 2. But we were not asked to find the general term. We were asked to find the 15th term. But we will use the general term we found in order to find the 16th term. So tn is equal to 6n minus 2, right? But n is equal to 15. We are looking for the 15th term. So in the place of n, we will substitute 15. So t15 is equal to 6 multiplied by 15 minus 2. This is going to be equal to 88. So t15 is equal to 88. What this means is that the 15th term of the sequence is equal to 88. Simple, right? I know. Now let's move on to something a little more difficult. What if you are asked in a different way to determine the value of n? And you are given that the sequence is 19, 14 and 9. Which term is equal to minus 11? We know that tn is equal to minus 11. Okay? Now let's look at the sequence. What is the lowest common difference between these terms? The difference between 19 and 14 is minus 5, and the difference between 14 and 9 is minus 5. Now, we know that the sequence is arithmetic, so we can use the general term tn is equal to a plus n minus 1d, whereby tn is equal to minus 11, and this is equal to a, our first term, which is 19, plus n minus 1d, the common difference and this is minus 5. When you simplify that you get minus 11 is equal to 19 minus 5n plus 5. So minus 35 is equal to minus 5n. Therefore n is equal to 7. So we can say that t7 is equal to minus 11. But that's not all. What if they give you two terms? And the question reads, determine the first three terms of an arithmetic sequence if the fifth term of the sequence is 12 and the 14th is minus 33. Don't panic. Relax and just write down what you have. You know that Tn is equal to 12 and Tn is also equal to minus 33. Furthermore, you know that Tn is equal to a plus n minus 1d for an arithmetic sequence. Now guys, the only thing that's different about this question is that you're going to end up having two equations because you are given two values for Tn. When Tn is equal to 12, your equation will be 12 is equal to a plus 5 minus 1d. And when Tn is equal to minus 33, the equation will be minus 33 is equal to a plus 14 minus 1d. 
When we simplify these two equations further, we get 12 is equal to a plus 4d and minus 33 is equal to a plus 13d. Now let's look at this closely. You can see that we have two equations and two unknowns. This should remind you of simultaneous equations. In simultaneous equations, you subtract the two equations in order to solve for the unknown. And that's exactly what we're going to do. 12 minus minus 33 is equal to 45. A minus A gives us 0. 4D minus 13D gives us minus 9D. And that is why D ends up being minus 5. We have just solved for the first unknown. Now in order to solve for the second unknown, we need to substitute the value of d into any one of the equations. We just chose to substitute d into equation a. When you substitute d into equation a, you get 12 is equal to a plus 4 multiplied by negative 5. And that is why a is equal to 32. Now remember that a is our first term. Let's say you want to solve for the second term, t2. You're going to say 32 plus minus 5, and this is going to give you the final answer of 27. And that is all on arithmetic sequences, guys. Let's quickly look at the learning outcomes. We have just learned how to solve arithmetic sequences. Be on the lookout for the next episode on geometric sequences. But for now, your girl Noop is signing out. Well, goodbye. Don't think it hasn't been a little slice of heaven. <laughs>